kind of nervous right now because there's because there's big fish in here and it's scary. God. Boo. What's that? What are your thoughts? How's the day gonna go? Hopefully I catch more than you, that's the goal. Probably pretty easily doable. What's going on, you dirty old stash bags? I'm back at a spillway that I've been to before, but it was one of the best ones that I've ever been to, so. Brought old Boo down. We're gonna see if she can't get a long gone kitty cat. Maybe even a walleye, maybe even a bass. Who the hell knows? It's a spillway, so you don't really have a good idea. But I have a goal today, and that is to catch a kitty on a jig because I've never done it. But I'm cheating because I got a damn bluegill head on it. But I've also kind of wondered if bluegill or cup bait is a good jig trailer for kitty cats or even bass. So we're gonna chuck out the bluegill head on the back of the jig, maybe switch over to the tail, like put the tail on the back of the jig, let it like flap. I don't know, it's a stupid idea, but I'm gonna try it. She's definitely gonna be able to catch them on night crawler. She's gonna be Throwing a big mess of night crawlers on a jig head into the current, letting it float back. She should definitely catch something. Hopefully I can too. Come along with us. Let's do this thing and stuff. Bye -bye. I'm back, you sweet, sweet, glorious spilling way. How I've missed you. Doo -doo -doo. Huh? Huh? Boo has joined me at the glorious spilling way. And she's gonna be using the trusty jig head night crawler technique. So she's probably gonna catch a lot more than me because I'm gonna be trying something different. So yeah. I just turned the camera off. But you got one. <laughs> Was that way over there? Dang it, she's gonna she's gonna put a hurting on me today, I can already tell. Oh my god, what is it? I would guess it's a long dong kitty. Or the biggest walleye in North America. To hammer it. <laughs> How many casts? Like three? It's a damn puddle monster is what it is. I think it's a bluegill to be honest. That was like instant. It's gonna be a while. So tell us, how'd the bike happen? What what were you thinking when it came? I just threw it in and like, <laughs> and it just, like hit it like right away. <laughs> yeah. Just started ripping line out. Oh <laughs> About ripped the damn pole out of your hands. It looks like you know your way around a rod, lady. Pop out. Come on, it's just a bluegill. Get the damn thing in. <laughs> Get in here, Timmy. It's big. It's that big. <laughs> this is gonna be stupid I can already tell the real question is do you think I can get one on my j stupid jig thing I know it's debatable if not you're gonna whack them for sure you're doing great Just take your time Oh God, <laughs> do you see its tail? <laughs> That's old darky right there. <laughs> Look at that smile. You've never been so happy in your damn life. Gosh darn walrus on a damn bait pole. Get in here, walrus. He's probably got some left. That's a big one. Come here, little Timmy kitty. We just want to touch you. Yeah, he's a, he's a big Timmy. He's pissed too. Come here, I just want you, I just want to touch you. I just want to touch you. Look at that dong. <laughs> hey boo, look at my dong. Pow. Grab his little tail. 
fold him under his little belly, and then say pow. Pow. <laughs> pow. Old dirty night crawler, right in the corner of the yap, right where it's supposed to be. Good job, Boo. Good save, actually. He got a little bonk just to put him in check, but let's get old Dong back. Ready? Yep. Later, Dongy. <laughs> How was it? it was are you wet. are you wet? <laughs> Good job. All right. Well, now that Boo's done reeling in her first one on her third cast, I'm gonna actually get my jig out there. We know they're in there, because uh, she caught one. So I'm just going to flip that uh, bluegill head on the jig into the current and hope for the best, I suppose. I should probably go small like she is, but I really want to catch one doing this. And I want to lay the wood to him with my heavy action rod. Oh god, I just got hammered. Did you see my rod? Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, we're sticking with this for a little bit. I should get bit. I'm just going to have to not be so excited and let him take it a little bit. This could get interesting. Oh, yeah. That's where he bit. All right, so we figured out I'm going to get bit on this. It's just, can I hook him? Got him. Yeah. Sick. <laughs> oh my gosh. It worked, boo. <laughs> just, just break it off. You're good. Or I don't know. Do what you want, but we got plenty of jig heads. Badass. That thing hammered it hammered it he's even fighting on the heavy action rod for god's sake see his tail i ripped his damn head off too this is badass thanks fam <laughs> he got it down it's similar size it might I doubt it's. it might be the same one. I don't know. We'll have to review the footage, but he's fighting hard enough that it's probably not. Yours was definitely different, and yours was definitely bigger. Or you can just hold the rod, your choice. He's even pulling on that, huh? Yeah. Come here there, you little dirty inbred jig eater. Still a big one though. All right, well, it took a little bit longer than expected, but uh, I got one on the bass jig with a bluegill head on it. Thing hammered it. Felt good laying the wood on a long dong kitty cat. Catch him on a bait pole is probably about as good as it gets, but I figured I'd give Boo the advantage and let her use the bait pole. But maybe it's not an advantage after all. Now we gotta see who's gonna catch more kitties near Boo. Up Probably boo. If you want to be the best cat fisherman on earth, go get yourself some inbred jig, put a damn bluegill head on it. <laughs> Discount code stash. I'm just kidding, but they are good for bass. And I guess kitties. Later, Timmy Kitty. I love you. Well, now it's a competition on who can catch the most. Yours had a bigger head, mine had a bigger belly. They're both about 10. But if I had to give it to one of the fish, I'd say yours was probably bigger. Yeah. I'm kind of nervous right now. Because there's, bi there's big fish in here and it's scary. Oh, God. 
Jesus! <laughs> oh. He's pissed. Well, I don't know if the inbred jig is a requirement, but the hooks sure are strong. I can tell you that for sure. <laughs> that is definitely the biggest one yet. And it spotted and it choked it. Oh my gosh. Look at that one. That one's That one's strange looking. Get him, Boo. <laughs> Holy moly. All right, well good snatch by Boo. And that is a cool like Dalmatian looking channel cat. That one's getting up there. That's big. Yeah, that's big. Let me see his mouth. The inbred jig is yeah. gone. <laughs> like, Gandhi. It's like in his brain. <laughs> it's in his... Oh my God. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get that. Like, he wasn't coming off this century. I don't want to leave him with it in there, though. Are you good, or what can I do for you? No. Come here, little Timmy. We'll get you unpinned. Look at that. Here, give me the pliers if you want to hold him. I got him. I got him leg locked. My pants are going to smell like shit, but it's like it's in his bone. Ah, oh, God. There we go. All right, well, kitty number two for me out of the dirty puddle. Kitty number three on the day. And this one is out of the water a little bit longer because of the jig being so pinned in there. So we're just going to get him back. But probably about a 12 pounder. Look at his spots though. That's a crazy looking like cow catfish. Mo! That was, that was fun. I like that. Let's do that again. Lou's going to use the uh, hybrid jig with the bluegill head. See if she can't get one to smoke it. And then we're probably going to leave. But I'd say we accomplished a lot. You ready to go into combat? Yep. You probably won't break the line, so rip its damn head off. Okay? There you go, my lady. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna sit and watch. Is this our water? Or is this some community men's water? Where do I sit that I'm safe? Get him, boo. Get him. Made it. Oh, nice, nice, I saw that. That thing hammered it. I knew that was the perfect cast. Oh, God. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. No, I bet he's in the mouth. I saw your whole rod jump. That was the perfect cast. You landed it right where the tube's coming in. Like right in the hole. Oh yeah. You straight corn hold this glory hole. Good hook set too. You poked him. He's poked. Isn't that rod nice though? Yeah. What do you got, a carp? Oh, it's a little tyke. <laughs> He's a little baby. <laughs> He's in the mouth. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, you walrus. I'd say you got him. In the eyeball. He'll be all right, though. Ah! I hope you didn't want to hold him, because he was ready. The old inbred jig is, uh, 
She's seen better days. Line's getting frayed too. Oh yeah, the hook's good. If you want to get some dirty old inbred jigs for uh, catfishing. For your own boo. For your own boo. Discount code stash. Pa-pow. Or for bass, I guess, if people are into that. What do you see? Nothing? Alright, boo, how was today? Besides the bug in your hair? It's good. It's fun, huh? Yeah. Big fish. Small puddle. Big rocks, small puddle. <laughs> Still ways sure are snaggy. I've always wanted to catch catfish on a jig. I know, I cheated. But I've also wondered if using actual bait fish as a trailer would work. Obviously it did, but this isn't exactly the most experimental place to do it because there's a bunch of catfish trapped in a hole. So, I don't know. I don't know if this will work on an actual lake. Tomorrow I'm going out for catfish, I might try it. Comment down below if you want to see more bass jig trailers with bluegills and stuff but yeah let me know but yeah tally was two to two we tied i can't ever just win it has to be a tie or her winning it's bullshit but anyway if you like this video give it a thumbs up leave a comment and subscribe tell me what you liked about it tell me what you hate about it i don't really care either way and uh yeah feedback is feedback be sure to hit the notification bell dingy got a bunch more stuff like this coming and a bunch more boo coming so Thanks for watching us, as always. We appreciate you, we love you, and yeah, goodbye and stuff. Say bye. Goodbye.